boy, do I have an adventure ready for you. We're going to draw the Lewis structure of calcium fluoride. Now, calcium is a metal. It comes from the left side of the periodic table. Everything over here is a metal except for hydrogen. Calcium is firmly in the alkaline earth metal group. It's a metal. Fluorine is a non-metal. It comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. A metal and a non-metal together will combine to make an ionic compound. Great. Now, let's see how that might happen. Calcium is in group two, so it brings two valence electrons with it. One, two. Beautiful. Fluorine is in group 17. That means it brings seven valence electrons with itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice that I spread them out before I started doubling them up. Now, non-metals want a complete octet, or eight electrons in its outer shell. You currently have seven, which means you only need one more to complete the octet. Calcium is a metal and will easily give its electron away to a non-metal that needs that electron. Now, this fluorine has eight electrons. It took this one from calcium and is stable and happy. Calcium is not happy. It still has one extra electron to give away. Where is it going to go? If you bring in another fluorine with its seven valence electrons, you can send that electron over, make this fluorine happy, and calcium will be left with no valence electrons in its outermost shell. That's ideal as well. This is how it happens. Let's draw the actual Lewis structure. Let's draw the F with eight dots around it. Now, eight electrons in its outer shell is one more than it brought. That gives it a charge of minus one. Great. Fluorine, well, actually, we draw a second fluorine, is what I'm trying to say, because you needed two of them to absorb all the electrons calcium was passing out. That calcium had two electrons, but now has none because it gave it away. I'm going to show that with a plus two charge and no dots written around it. This is my personal preferred Lewis structure for calcium fluoride. You might be allowed to take a shortcut here and draw two times that F with its eight electrons and minus one charge. As long as you also show the calcium with the plus two charge, it just saves you from having to draw it out twice. I prefer this one. This one's also valid. I want to point out the fact that you needed two fluorines to absorb all the electrons from calcium is why the formula is CaF2. Two fluorines for every calcium atom. Not a coincidence, but then again, nothing is. Am I right? True love lies around the corner. Best of luck.